guys, so I'm Mel Mitchell and I'm here to give you guys a review of all eight Harry Potter films. So, I'm 25 years old and I just watched the movies for the first time in my entire life. I ain't never read a book, I ain't never stopped and watched it on ABC Family, never seen nothing. I just know of it from just pop culture, of course, like I grew up in the 2000s, that's what everybody was talking about, but I was not allowed to watch it. Like, my parents were like, absolutely not, we were very devout Christians growing up. I couldn't watch anything witchcraft in it, like literally anything. I never seen none of the Halloweens. I never seen uh, Halloween Town, none of, nothing Halloween. I used to go to church on Halloween for Hallelujah Night, like nothing. Um, I barely was able to watch That's a Raven, no charm, no Sabrina Teenage Witch, nothing. But because we are in a pandemic and HBO Max just dropped and they have all eight Harry Potter films and I'm grown now, I decided to watch it. And I started a thread on Twitter about just my thoughts, just threading my thoughts. And it got a lot of attention and they were like, you know, why don't you do a video recap? So this is what this is. I'm about to recap it for y'all um, in my words, <laughs> my interpretation of it. Uh, JK Rowling got canceled in the middle of my movie marathon, but you know what, I decided to stick it through and finish it. Uh, we're gonna see. Um, I'm gonna try to keep this under like 10 minutes-ish, uh, maybe a minute per movie, we'll see. And then, um, yeah, like I've been in Harry Potter world, didn't know what none of the stuff meant. I just wanted to ride Dueling Dragons and Islands of Adventure and I rode a little train. I was like, oh, this is cute. I have no idea what any of this means. But now I know what stuff means. So I'm excited. And here we go. Okay, movie number one, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Cool. We open up, we see them delivering like a baby to like a neighborhood in England. And turns out it's Harry because his parents just got killed because they was fighting with Voldemort or whatever. Boom. So Hagrid has like a flying motorcycle dropping off to his muggle family who is very mean to him. I don't appreciate that. Like they had him living under the stairs. They was bullying him. And it just gave me real Matilda vibes because like, okay, he got magic powers that are activated when people are, people are mean to him. His parents or caregivers like Matilda are mean. The brother fat. And things happen when you was mean to him. So I, it just gave me very Matilda vibes. So... Yeah, that was real stank, and like he realized that he had powers when like they went to some kind of reptile zoo on a, the fat boy's birthday, and Harry's birthday was the next day, so their birthdays were like back to back, which was interesting to me. And they didn't do nothing for Harry's birthday, and they hide now after he, you know, was being weird. They hide now, and then Hagrid come and get him like, hey, come on, you wizard, let's go. So he was like, bet they go to Diagon Alley to like it's like the the wizard. Canal Street, I don't really know. <laughs> so they go get all their wizard materials and trust fund. And Harry had a trust fund in the the wizard room, the magic bank with the uh, goblins. So he had his own stuff and saw some stuff in there. And then he went and got his little special wand that chose him. And then, so yeah, he went to the train station and then he met the Weasleys. The Weasleys are all redheaded, whatever. That's Ron and them people, the whole family was it. They taught him to go into nine and three fourths um, platform. That's how you got to you know, the train station for Hogwarts, you get him to train at Hogwarts, Ron is his new friend, and then Hermione come in, Miss know it all, perfect patty, and <laughs> they just learn stuff, and they meet each other, and that's real cute, so they get there, they get sorted out, whatever, but everybody's like, oh, so you're Harry Potter, so here's what preached to me, as a Christian woman, they tried to kill Harry, but it didn't work, it didn't work, and that's how he got that scar, people knew, that was his testimony, right there, he didn't have to say nothing, they knew, he had that scar, that that was God working because when you cover by the blood, like I said on Twitter, mm, no Voldemort can come between. Okay, so Voldemort tried to kill him as a baby, that's why they had brought him to the muggles to keep him safe. And they thought that he'd been destroyed, no one knew if he was alive or not. That's why they were scared to say his name because, like, Voldemort is like powerful, or whatever. So Voldemort tried to kill him as a baby and it did not work. And it made Voldemort disappear. And Harry, you know, has been very powerful, he's a very powerful wizard. Cool, so yeah. Everybody's like, oh, so you Harry? So he gets sorted into Gryffindor. He was scared he was going to get sorted into Slytherin House. I'm Ravenclaw. I don't really know what that means still, but those are my people. So, hey, Ravenclaw people. Um, so, yeah, they get sorted. You know, Harry's just good at everything naturally because he's just born to be a wizard and all this kind of stuff. He's on the Quidditch team. He's good at that. Whatever. So the point of the movie is they find something about find out about something called the Sorcerer's Stone, right? The Sorcerer's Stone is something that made somebody live forever. Um, I watched it three days ago. I already forgot. It's a lot. I watched a lot of movies in the past three days. And then, yeah, Voldemort was trying to find that, and they were trying to figure out how Voldemort was getting in school and who was helping him, whatever. They come to find out the teacher with the turban had Voldemort living in the back of his head, like, some tracks or something. It was just weird. 
and then Harry defeated him. And that's the end of the movie, really, because that's really just it. It was real cute, and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll continue. Next movie. Let me see if I forgot anything. Um, that's really it. That's just the the gist of it. Um, oh, and then Voldemort was in the forest with some Iotas, and Iota helped Harry because Voldemort was eating the uh, unicorn. It was real strange. It was strange. Uh, but yeah, next movie. All right, so boom. Chamber of Secrets, second movie. I enjoyed this one. Like, two, three, and four are my favorite ones. So Chamber of Secrets opens up. He's back with the mean family members who is mistreating him again, which I do not like. And they could have had some kind of summer program or some kind of something, camp, whatever, to keep him at during the summer because I didn't like how them people treated him. He didn't deserve that. Yeah, so Harry, they have some guests over at the house, and Dobby shows up out of nowhere, this little elf. And he's like, Harry, you cannot go back to Hogwarts. Like, bro, don't go. And he's like, why? And he's like, bro, don't go. And then he's like making all this noise and stuff or whatever. Then his family had some guests over and they were like, hey, why are you up here being loud? And they being mean, putting locks on his door, all this kind of stuff. Whatever. So Ron and his brothers come pick Harry up and they fly in the car like, let's go. So then they pull off. They uh, miss the train because the platform not working because it's been jinxed. Because Dobby done jinxed the whole thing because he did not go to school. But they go anyway. They drive to Hogwarts in a flying car. Car get messed up in a little tree thing. It's a whole mess. Ron, mom pissed. And then we find out about something called, um, when he's hanging out with the, um, with the Weasleys, he finds out about this, this author man who'll be writing books about stuff. And then we find, we see Draco Malfoy's daddy, who is evil, is giving me real, like, Twilight, Valtteri vibes, like, real just, you know, Targaryen vibes. Don't like him at all. And then he's, like, real stank and mean to him and to the Weasleys. And that was a whole thing. They get back, and then Draco calls Harmony a mudblood, which is basically a slur. Like, that's, like, very hard ER vibes. Did not like that. And I was like, what's this about? So, apparently, a mudblood is somebody who has two human parents, two muggle parents. And a half-blood is somebody who has one muggle parent and one magic parent, whatever. But Harmony is on her stuff. She's the best student in the class. Like, she knows her spells to stop playing with her. It gets real, and then um, weird stuff start happening all over the school. And they're trying to figure out who's doing all the weird stuff. And, like hanging cats, people start getting petrified, and then mud bloods are getting petrified all over this um, school, and Hermione, my Hermione, whatever, Hermione got petrified, and she was all frozen, I was like, no, not my girl, so come to find out, Harry reading his diary from a student called Thomas Riddle, or Tom Riddle, and he's reading his diary and trying to figure out what happened, and how somebody died in school, all this stuff, come to find out, child, Tom Riddle is Voldemort, right, Tom Riddle's Voldemort, and he done been luring uh, Ron's little sister down there doing all this crazy stuff, done possessed the girl through the diary, all kinds of weird stuff. It's a girl named Mona Myrtle, who was a girl who died back in the day, and told and told them how people are getting petrified because they look at the snake in the eye. So Harry go kill the snake down there with this big old sword that he got from Dumbledore, and it was a whole thing. And child, yeah, that was really it. And he ended up with her saving the day. He saved, um, what was her name? His future wife. I prefer my sister. You know what I'm talking about. Jenny. He saved Jenny. And it was beautiful. It was really beautiful. And he did that. I really enjoyed this movie. Did I miss anything? Um, with some spiders involved. Real big spiders. And, um, Hagrid be having all these animals. I just cannot deal with Hagrid and animals. And then, Dobby was like, see, I told you they were trying to kill you. That's why they didn't want you to come up here. But you did it. And he saved him. Um, from being the the servant of the Malfoys because he gave him a sock in the book and he gave the book to Dobby and he's like, oh, now I'm free. So, yeah, that's movie number two. Okay, now, Prisoner of Azkaban. This one's my favorite. So, again, you pull back up. Harry's with his people. He finally has enough. And one of the mean aunts come over and she's treating Harry like trash. And he put a spell on her and she blows up. And they're pissed, right? Was that was that this movie? It was okay. It was this movie. It was so. Yeah, he do that, and he like takes his stuff and goes. He's like, I'm pissed. So he leaves, and then like this big scary dog starts following him a little bit. He gets scared, but then a bus for magic people come, pull up and come get him, and it's like going to speed of light, and it's real like a Jamaican shrunken head in there. That's kind of offensive, but kind of funny at the same time. Whatever. So then that happens, and he pulls up. 
um, at Hogwarts. And apparently, so somebody named Sirius Black has escaped from Azkaban prison and everybody's tripping out. And they like, Harry, he come to get you because every movie, somebody trying to kill Harry. That's just it. So he's on the train and these things called Dementors look like little flying Grim Reapers that are very scary. Do not watch at night. And they're like all around the school, all on the train, trying to find any kind of clues to who it is. And they like suck all the happiness out you. It's too much. I don't like that. It's just always something. Uh, trying to figure out what. Oh, they get another new dark arts teacher. They get a new one every year. Because in the Chamber of Secrets, the author man was like a, a fraud. And he wasn't really about that life. So we got another new teacher. He's weird too, but he has like a thing with Harry. They're like really cool. And yeah, I, really, I just really liked the movie. It was like really cool. The vibes are cool. And their teachers were nice teaching them things like traveling back in time and all this different stuff. So they're learning new stuff because Hermione is the only one listening. And come to find out, Prism Azkaban, Sirius Black, really ain't even the bad guy. And he's trying to find out like what this guy is, what he wants, whatever. Turns out Ron's rat is the guy who actually aided in killing Harry's parents. And Sirius was his godfather. It had nothing to do with it. It was just a whole mess. It was just a lot. He was living in the rat and transformed whole thing. And I was just like, what? Y'all got me watching. So they go back and then he ends up getting captured. But then they go back in time again. I'm probably missing some parts. Who cares? They go back in time again to go recapture him. What happened? Oh, and then the teacher ends up being a, a werewolf. That was a whole thing. That was a mess. And then Sirius is a dog. He can anamorph into a dog. I know that's probably not the word. Anamorph with some books in the 90s, but whatever. He anamorphed into a dog. And it was just a whole thing. And then he was trying to do the spell called Expecto Patronus. And I was like, ooh, Patron. But anyway, <laughs> he was trying to do it. And it happened. And the first time it happened, he saw like a stag. And he saw it across the river. He was like, oh my God, that was my dad who saved me. But when they go back in time, they see that it wasn't their dad. It wasn't Harry's dad. It was Harry in the future coming back to save past Harry with the Patronus. It was beautiful. You know, Sirius was not the bad guy. Peter Pettigrew, the rat, was the bad guy. Then there was another that had to go back in time and unkill the big bird horse thing. It was just it was just a lot. It was a lot. But I enjoyed that movie a lot. And the, the werewolf was real scary looking. Like, it just looked like a man wolf. Like, he wasn't no regular werewolf. But other than that, yeah, happy ending. Like, he got a god daddy now. He finally has some, like, family. He's super excited. Happy ending. And he finally found his, like, potential with his Expectral Patronus that knocked out all the Dementors. And it was lit. Okay, so next movie. Goblet of Fire. I also enjoyed this movie. So the movie opens up. It doesn't really open up. Does it open up with him and just keep him again? I don't remember, but he's with Ron and people. And Edward Cullen is there. I was like, oh, look at Edward. I didn't know he was in Harry Potter. And then they're like at this big wizard games. And it's like super lit. They're all excited. And like, it's like a big old soccer game. But like this stadium was like wicked. Like it's like super high. It's like a million people in there. And then everybody's lit. And then they go, and then things called Death Eaters come, which basically look like the KKK. That's what I saw. That the pointy hats, it was in black, but it was like, these people don't look good. They were super evil. And Harry had a dream about Voldemort and asking somebody to come, just all this kind of stuff. And he was like having the same reoccurring dream. And it was like, this is the guy from the dream. Whole thing. So we found out about the Death Eaters and get like the Hogwarts. And they have them like the Hogwarts games. And they have people from other schools come. So. It was a girl's school, forgot the name. It's a like boy's school, also forgot the name. But it was two other schools, right? And the girls are super baddies. Like, they all was, like, in unison, dancing, coming in. And then the other school had the boy who looked 47, but apparently he's a teenager, allegedly. And the one, Victor, Victor Crumb, he was in that school, and it was, like, super, like, they're, like, they gave me, like, Dothraki from Game of Thrones vibe. So, they came in, so like the, the school, they have to all put in their names to be chosen for like their Hunger Games or whatever, but it's like super big deal, but you have to be 17. So a lot of people are like, oh, I'm mad because I'm not 17, whatever. So they go put their names in, everybody put their name in. Harry's like not tripping. Like the um, the Weasley twins put their names in, trying to like do a age spell and that don't work, it backfired, whatever. So they come for they picking the names of some girl. So they pick the girl and she get picked, Victor gets picked, um, Edward Cullen gets picked, I mean Cedric, whatever. Cedric gets picked, and then the goblet's like, oh, another person. Like, the goblet picks people. So, the goblet picked Harry, 
And he's like, bro, I didn't put my name in there, so why am I being called? So he put his name in there. Everybody's like, wait, I'm, I'm 14. Then the goblet didn't care. He got picked. Everybody's like, oh, Harry, the game, the game, the game. Like, you ready? Blah, blah, blah. Ron's starting to get real, like, hateration. Hateration, holleration going on because he's like, how you you said you didn't do it, but I think you did. You think you're better than everybody. So he get in the games. He got to fight a dragon. He, the other ones with some mermaids, and he ends up, like, placing high because he saved two people, so that was cool. Then the last one is, like, some kind of death maze. It's, like, a, it's a weird maze that's in there that's enchanted, and then, like, the girl gets disqualified, which is misogynistic, and then Victor gets possessed, and then Cedric and Harry race to the end, so the trophy was enchanted and taken to this whole other dimension, and Voldemort there, child Voldemort got a body now. It was crazy. He killed Cedric. Kill the boy, then takes Harry's blood for some kind of spell, and then I, they like intertwined, and he really like turns up. Then the Death Eaters reveal himself, and then Draco Daddy of Death Eater, which we knew, and it's like hella people in there. Girl, it was a mess. And then who else? What did I miss? And now we're going through it as usual. Oh, they had a dance. They had a dance. I forgot about the dance. And Hermione goes with Victor because period, like, cause she that girl, and Ron was sick about it. And then, so Ron and Harry was stressed out about going to the dance and who they were going to ask to the dance. And they go with the two Indian girl twins, which I was like, don't be, don't be doing my brown girls like that. Okay, period. But Ron brother went with a black girl, so shout out to him. So, yeah, and they was acting real weird. And Ron kind of like ruined Hermione's night because she went out with that dude and he was trying to like be all Haiti and stuff. Like, bro, like you should have asked her if you wanted to be on that oh yeah and then my girl Moni Myrtle came back and she helped Harry with the um with the mermaid stuff like my girl that's my sis I loved her but yeah Harry went head to head with Voldemort he had the, the spell to get back and he came back except your daddy was a wreck down to the games child it was so sad so his parents came back in a vision they were like for them to be dead they made a lot of appearances in this in the end also I know about the whole context thing but he did not have her eyes Oh, it turns out that the weird man with the eye was the one who set all this up and put Harry's name in there. But when I come to find out, it was a Death Eater pretending to be the Mad Eye Man. It was a mess. So, boom, that was Goblet of Fire. Way too long, but whatever. Okay, next we got Order of the Phoenix. Order of the Phoenix was, this is movie number five? Movie number five, and it starts off Harry's being bullied by... His stupid cousin, who's now a wigger, like, is just like Malibu's most wanted, whatever. He's bullying him in front of his stupid little friends. He get mad and, like, he's a little bit of magic, but not too, too much. And then, I don't know, when the Death Eaters come, and then he has to do the Patronus to get him to go away. Somehow he gets found out, and they trying to put him on trial, like, uh-uh, because you can't be using magic under 17 out in the streets like that. Look, the cousin is all petrified and stuff. He a mess good. He deserves it. It was a lot. And then, come to find out, it's like an Order of the Phoenix is like the you know like the council like the good people like the anti kkk so like they like the NAACP they like <laughs> they like <laughs> basically so they like the Black Panther Party and they like trying to do the opposite of what the Death Eaters are doing and then like the magic the Ministry of Magic they tripping and they like trying to infiltrate Hogwarts this year and it's like a whole mess Sirius is back and Sirius is talking about what they gonna do Dolores with the pink don't like her she ends up coming to teach at the school she's a new dark magic teacher and they get a new every year so apparently they the the position is cursed and both of them are cursed it because he used to be the teacher and now everybody who in it only do it for a year so girl she in there she giving all these rules and it's all ridiculous because she from the ministry of magic so she gotta like you know she got a little say so but it's just all ridiculous every time anybody have kind of fun it's a new rule that he hear me in the wall and she's annoying. Everybody's being freaking mean to Harry. And I don't appreciate that. Because Harry saved everybody's life more than once. So how dare y'all get rude with him. Um, blah, 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 blah. So Harry liked the girl Cho. And Cho had went to the dance with Cedric in the last movie. And he was like sick. But Cedric died. So Harry kind of like pushing back up on, Tro on Cho. Which is like kind of weird. But whatever. So they kind of like flirting or whatever. And to they not teach him spells no more in the dark magic class, but it's like, bro, Voldemort is like out here. Like y'all don't believe me when I'm telling y'all Voldemort is out here, but he is. So we need to be learning spells. And she was like, no, we not teaching that. So he took it upon himself to have like little secret, you know, spell meetings to show them how to defend themselves against dark magic, which was lit. And they had like you know a little montage or whatever. And he go get the kiss in the show girl. So I was like, it's kind of weird, but I'm gonna let you, you know, cook or whatever. 
Then we meet the new elf, Creature, because he met him at Sirius Black's house. And Creature was rude, but I don't really like his his attitude. Then Dumbledore get fired, because they trying to, uh, what they frame him for? I forgot. But he get fired, so they put, they put Dolores in charge of, she's the headmaster now. So it's even more rules, and it's even more like prison up in there. So they really like sneaking around, trying to learn magic. And then they did something. Oh, so they pissed the, the centaurs off. And they, we met, um, Hagrid probably got fired. Did he get fired? Child, I forget. But they brought her to the woods, child, and, and introduced her to this giant. And the giant grabbed her. And he, you know, they did something with the centaur. She low-key got jumped a little bit because she pissed them off. Cause, and then they were being like, I don't know if they had the N-word and the magic word, but she used it. And she was being real caring -y. And they let her have it, and that was hilarious. And then we met Bellatrix Lestrange, and she's awful. She escaped from Al not Alcatraz, Lord, Azkaban. <laughs> she escaped from Azkaban, and she killed Neville's parents, and she's awful. Then the final showdown, like, Harry was trying to have these visions, trying to figure out where they were, so they was in the, um, somewhere with a bunch of crystal balls, child. They was there and had a final showdown with Voldemort, and he brought the squad with him, and then all, they used all their little spells, because Cho Girl had snitched. That's how they, the whole thing got messed up. But they had this whole operation and the showdown, and they used the stupefy, stupefy, stupefy. They were stupefying, and child, they had beat Voldemort again. And they finally believed that Voldemort was back. They were like, yeah, I tried to tell y'all Voldemort was back. He tried to kill me. So, yeah, the whole showdown um, series had got killed, child. I was sick because... Um, the girl, Bellatrix, she killed Sirius. And they was, thought it was funny. Like, I killed Sirius Black. Huh? See, see, that's why. I'm, and I called her a bootleg Harley Quinn because she is. And she could never. And she looked crazy. And I do not like her. And then Voldemort was, like, literally inside of him. Like, inside. Like, li really, like, some nutty press and stuff. And it was just really stupid weird. And, yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for this movie. Let's go to the next one. Child, okay, so I'm on Half Blood Prince. I forgot what the movie about. Hold on, let me. Oh, okay, yeah. So the Death Eaters is like going crazy. Like in the real world, magic world, they are wilding. So, and like everybody is going crazy at Hogwarts, like, because they finding like 16 now. Let me see, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, they 16 now. So they they kissing. You know, it's a kids movie, so they not like hunching, but they hunching. And it's a lot. It's a lot going on in Hogwarts. And. So the Death Eaters are like really tripping and lost my spot, Father God. And Dumbledore is really just trying to prepare Harry for the absolute worst. Like, hey, Voldemort is not playing with you. It's kind of like getting real over here. And Ron and Hermione are like but butting heads because they like each other. So you know how teenagers are. So they're really trying to like figure things out with themselves. Hermione starts um, dating. Well, she does. She, doesn't start dating she goes to a dance with another jock guy that's on the quidditch team who she wanted like she wanted ron to be on the team so she like did a little spell to mess with the jock guy and then ron gets on the team and starts feeling himself and starts talking to this new girl and we like bro hermione the reason you even got the girl because she's the one you be on the team like how dare you that's how see, see how they do then um there's a new teacher that dumbledore introduced harry to who um was who taught Voldemort so he's like super super old and he had this potion book you know like with all the, these you know potions and Harry's like reading it super intent and it's like really getting his head it's, it belongs to the half-blood prince and like we don't know who that is so stuff gets crazy and he's like talking to the teacher trying to figure out what he said to Tom Riddle Voldemort back in the day and what was it and why and you know how he got to be Voldemort so that was the whole thing. He started to figure things out. Like Voldemort came to him about the dark, dark magic and like crucifixes and all kinds of, not horcruxes, sorry. All the kinds of stuff. So he's figuring out how Voldemort works, which is like crazy. So he realizes that Voldemort split his soul by killing into seven pieces and like spread them out. And unless you kill them, that's how you kill Voldemort. And Dumbledore's like preparing him to put him on game. But, child, the Death Eaters start going crazy. Like, Draco's a Death Eater now, I think. Is it this movie that he becomes a Death Eater? Whatever. So, he's a Death Eater now, and they send him to go kill Dumbledore, but he don't do it, and um, Snape ends up killing him. And, like, Harry's sick. The whole school just sick. They do a funeral. And that's really about it. Ron's girlfriend is super annoying. Like, hate her. And come to find out, Lavender from all the other movies was a black girl, and then as soon as she dated Ron, 
She white. That's see, I can't. Um. So yeah, that was that was the second I mean the whatever sixth movie. We're nearing the end. This is the end. Okay. So Dumbledore just died. I'm sick. So we get to Deathly Hollows finally, and this is just really everybody looking for Harry because they know like he trying to kill Voldemort. Voldemort trying to kill him. Whatever. So they movie start off. They at his people house. He get his people, like his mean family members, to move out. Like, y'all gotta get out of here. Then he got all the magic people in the order. Like, hey, what we gonna do? They like, okay, we gonna clone you with a spell. Everybody gonna beat you so they can get off your trail. So they go leave. It's like seven different Harrys. And they all fly off. And they get attacked by the Death Eaters in the sky. They all get all roughed up. And they meet at the Weasley's house. Somebody, Some people get roughed up a little bit. The Weasley's house gets burned down. It's a mess. Then... Um, Ron, Hermione, and Harry going. It's like this just long camping trip, and it's just awful. And they find one of the Horcruxes. They find they find different Horcruxes so they can destroy them. They gotta find the rest of them, right? So they have one in the, the charm, and they're trying to destroy. It, but the more they halt, they can't destroy it without something with the power to destroy it, which is like something of itself. And then they got the, the charm, and the charm making their hormones rage out of control. They get all angry and mad. And they just can't stand each other. Ron leaves. And then it's like when you destroy it, it shows like your biggest insecurity. And he think Harry and Hermione got a thing going on. Everybody's just on edge. It's just too much. And then they finally figure out what Deathly Hollows mean. Because Luna, my weird sis, who like be having the keys, she be knowing that she was nice to Harry. And she done seen some things. But her daddy, who was at Ron brother wedding, he um, was like, okay, the Deathly Hollows, like it's a story. Uh, three, three brothers that cheated death. One asked for... A wand to be the most powerful wizard on earth. One asks for uh, something to bring back somebody from the dead. And then one asks for an invisibility cloak, whatever. So the first one got too power hungry, died, and got killed. The second one killed himself because he brought his old girlfriend back, but it wasn't the same, whatever. And the invisibility cloak is what Harry been using since day one. And he one who got away and was able to grow old and give it to his son, whatever. So it like creates like this signal. It looks like something like this. Like it looks like. Don't say I'm out here throwing up the media. I'm trying to show the Deathly Hollows shit. Okay. It looks like this. Whatever. So he explains that to him, but he got him over there as a setup, trying to give him to the Death Eaters because he's trying to get his daughter back. And then they go to where the Death Eaters crib at. Well, most of them, not Voldemort, but like the Malfoys and Bellatrix and them. And they got the sword, the sword that Dumbledore gave them in the Chamber of Secrets. And Bellatrix thinks she got one. So she's like, where you found that at? And she's trying to get Hermione because they, they messed up Harry's face so they didn't know it was Harry. And then Malfoy didn't tell him it was Harry, but even though he knew it was Harry. So that was kind of like some real nigga shit, right? Then they got, you know, uh, Luna locked up. They got the uh, wand man and a goblin. And one more person I can't remember. And then Dobby come to save the day. He saved him, get him out of there. And he talked crazy to Malfoy mama and to Bellatrix and she was like how dare you she throw the sword when he's like teleporting kill him mid teleport kill him kill Dobby but Dobby had already flexed on him and said he a free elf period so you not gonna talk to me crazy he died a free elf and that's what matters so they buried my dog was that the end of the movie it was just sad and then it showed um, Voldemort was like on his way on his way Then last movie, they find the Horcruxes or whatever. So they go with the Goblin back to Diagon Alley to go find the sword. No, to go find some kind of Goblin thing just so they can destroy that. But they can't destroy it because they, they gave the sword to the Goblin as like collateral for him getting them into the little bank with the Goblins. So then they escape out of there with one of the dragons from, the, um, from Bellatrix Vault. They fly to Hogwarts, you know, with the smoke ready for whatever they get there harry you know they gotta he meets dumbledore brother he meets dumbledore brother i'm so tired of talking <laughs> then he meets dumbledore's brother and he got some keys for him and then turn come to find us a tunnel neville in there neville my dog he got a tunnel back into hogwarts with like the rest of the kids because the school had been taken over by snape and it's a uh, super death eatery but they get back into school 
shit pop off. Voldemort does like a PA announcement in everybody's brain. Like, y'all bring Harry or I'm killing everybody. And they like, oh no, just to give him Harry, whatever. They were like, nah. They protected Harry. All that, everybody squad up for Harry. And I was like, so beautiful. Ron Mama and them was there. That was crazy. Everybody just pull up. Like the um, McGonagall, Madonna, whatever. She pull up. The statues come out the wall to protect the school. The Death Eaters on their way. They come. They mess up. They just fuck shit up. Just, just wands and stuff everywhere. And then they like, bring me Harry. They killing the kids. Everything just... It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, never almost get killed on the bridge because the Death Eaters, they had a protection spell. But, you know, the magic that they had, it didn't hold off for a long time. So, like, the lower level Death Eaters was, like, trying to get in, but they were getting messed up by the spell. And then Voldemort just hitting them with, like, pow, pow, whoo, 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 magic, magic. And he burned the thing down. So then they started storming the bridge when Neville was taunting them. So he run. Then they had bombs on the bridge. So the bridge come down and Neville was like lit. They had to go find the last Horcrux, which was um, a locket. They go find the locket because Luna, again, told him where to go. To one of the ghost girls, her mama had a, a tiara in one of them rooms. So they go to the room requirement. He go find it. But then Drake on his people in there. And... About to, you know, of course, take him to the people. But Harry was like, but you ain't say that you knew it was me. You knew it was me. And he kind of respected that. So when it came time to go, they found some brooms to get out of there because, like, the big snake was coming burning everything up. They saved Draco because he was like, that was real. So, yeah. And then he gets some, oh, they killed Snape. So he killed Snape. Voldemort killed Snape because he wanted the power from the wand. And... While Snape was dying, he gave some memories to Harry. So come to find out, Snape had been on his side the whole time because he was in love with Harry's mama. He was like, he, he had her eye, which he don't. But you see, like, how Harry daddy used to bully him and how after they died, he was the one who come find them and promised his loyalty to Harry out of respect for his mother, all this stuff. It was beautiful, right? So it gave Harry a lot of respect for him and gave him something to fight for. And he realized what he needed to do. And he realized that he was the last Horcrux, so in order to kill Voldemort, he had to die. So he go and they squat up, whatever, whatever. They have their moment, and then he dies or whatever. He hit him with the avocadabra or whatever. So, child, this is so fucking long. But, <laughs> so he dies, and then he don't die because he's talking to Voldemort in, like, purgatory for a minute. And then he go come back, but he, like, playing dead because they bring his body to, like, oh, we killed Harry, it's lit. And they kind of found Harry not even dead. And then Neville being yet again a real nigga come up with the sword from what you call it. Like cause diversion. We love Harry. He killed a snake. Harry come. They trying to kill Harry. Don't work. And then he just ended up killing, uh, what's his name? I feel, so that's about it. And it was just super anticlimactic how he died. And I was like, mm, kind of want a little bit more than that. But whatever. And... That was, that was really it. Let me see if I forgot anything. I think slaves built Hogwarts. I can't prove it. But I feel like they did. One of the twins died, and that hurt me. Because I grew to really like one of the Weasley twins. I don't know which one died, but it hurt my feelings. The wolf teacher died, and his girlfriend died. That hurt my feelings as well. But yeah, Neville saved the day. He's really the hero. I, I read something that said that he's the real chosen one. Which is, like, he has similar origins to Harry. Death Eaters killed his people too. Uh, Molly Woozy was not going for it inside of Hogwarts. She let Bellatrix have it. Period. But yeah, Voldemort's death was just like... That's it? Like, I just wanted a little bit more from his death, but whatever. I'll take it. That was it, and it fades away, and it's like a happy ending, and then it fast forwards to 20, 19 years later, and then, like, he has kids with Ron's sister Jenny, and then Ron and Hermione got married, and now their kids are going to Hogwarts, and they're 11 now. And I, that was the end. And that was cute. Like, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the films as a whole. Like, the ending, I was like, eh, I guess. I mean, I knew what was going to happen just from this knowing pop culture. But it was just like, yay, I guess. So, that was it. That's my review. I enjoyed it. Um, it's fun. I like nerd stuff anyway. Like, I love Marvel movies. My dad used to be a big Star Wars fan. So, I love me a good franchise. But, yeah, thank God for rocking with me. My mouth is dry. But, um, yeah, this was it. I don't know if I'm going to, I'm probably going to split these into two. 
So thanks for watching. Focus. Okay, my bad. I got a phone call. But yeah, so I'm, I'm used to like movie theaters. I mean, movie franchises. Like my dad was big on uh, Star Wars. He would like pick us up early for that. Like I'm a big Marvel fan. So this was cool. I didn't get to be a part of the hype hype, but now I get to understand when people say certain things with Harry Potter. I'm not going to read the books because, no, uh, <laughs> just not, but it's cool. It's cool. And I know when I go to islands next time, I can have something to enjoy. So yeah. Um, yeah.